Hello, Culture Matters Podcast. Before I introduce you to our guest, here's a quote just for this episode. Fear of danger is 10,000 times more terrifying than danger itself. Mm. Daniel mm. Defoe. Today, we're recording New Year's Eve Part 2 or Episode 2 with our dear friend of the Culture Matters Podcast, Andrew Berman influencer in a constructive meaning i don't mean to insult <laughs> friend too many <laughs> interviewer extraordinaire <laughs> huge value add to the culture matters podcast many great guests we've had the pleasure of having because of andrew berman's goodwill over the years and in and outside of the loan origination space today we're recording on new year's eve of 2023 another episode so that you if you're listening in the future you can think what was i doing on new year's eve who am i today and who could i have been then among other things thanks for coming on the culture matters podcast andrew okay Good to, good to be here again. Uh, always, always love the space with you here. Um, so I, 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 every time I hear the word influencer, I, I think of actually our, our, our first meeting, how, wow. uh, you know, I'll, I'll always, I'll always be so grateful for Christine, uh, back with for uh, connecting us, but she didn't know how to describe you because there's it's very difficult to describe Jay Duran, what Jerry Duran does, the you know who he is as a person. Uh, so, you know, you just go for like easy, easy words, and and you know, listen, you are an influencer. <laughs> so, I remember she said that as an influencer, and she's he's an influencer. I'm like, oh, so basically. He's nothing. That means, uh, you know, me actually that says, you know, there's nothing of substance. Uh, he just influences because of that. But, you know, it, it's amazing as, as I've plugged into your world since the. It's the clothed uh, only fans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, exactly. So. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> but I think that's uh, that's great. So. um before I get away from it, so let me make sure I get this. So the the uh, fear is more terrifying than the actual fear itself, right? Fear of danger is 10,000 times. Fear yeah, the fear, fear of, of danger. danger, right? Well, oh, yeah. Is. Oh, my God, yeah. My goodness, this is something that uh, I, I you know, as someone who's, um, I mean, cripplingly afraid of heights um you know this is definitely something that 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 i know I, i'm 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 very very aware of i mean like, listen just we just so we were just in the uh we just uh did a little uh trip uh to, to the city for for a few days uh last week and we're on a pretty high floor um in in our hotel room you know full uh you know wall to wall to ceiling um uh floor to ceiling uh windows and I, I i had difficulty standing up on on the edge of it and going to the edge of it um i mean nothing's gonna happen um i mean it's it's clear actually that that you know, there's glass here there's you know it's it's a, it's a very nice hotel i'm sure actually that it's tested uh but you know i just have this this crippling fear um you know that that makes it difficult for me to to stand next to that stand next to the edge i also <laughs> find also this uh something compelling me to push myself to the edge you know like i can't stay away from it i you know so i have that 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 fear that that uh you know that is not it's not real you know i'm not gonna fall um, but you know, here, here I am, um, you know, just terrified. My, my kids are able to go up to it, you know, no problem. Just go right to the glass without actually, you know, tiptoeing through it. And, and I'm, and I'm walking slowly to it, but, um, you know, it's, it's something that, uh, 
know, I've I've always dealt with this fear of, of heights. I mean, I've jumped out of a plane three times to try to address this fear of heights. Wow. Uh, uh yeah, definitely. Um, the fear of danger is definitely more terrifying than the actual fear itself. I I, I agree with that, and it is something that uh oh, I. I personally try to uh, fight the fear, whether it's fear of speaking, fear of of doing mm. podcasts where I'll, I'll actually have to share what's going on inside my head besides, you know, being a, a, a scripted person who I normally am when I'm on like webinars or podcasts. Uh, so um, these are some of my fears. Where Where have you succeeded in 2023 or in what way? So, um, that's interesting. Um, so I, I, I believe that our, my, my success personally, um, you know, has come through, uh, um, couple of different adventures that, that I'm involved in. Um, you know, my, my main effort, uh, you know, goes, um, at least on the business side, um, yep. is, uh, you know, media company, American business media. Um, you know, this, this was not a bad year. I mean, we, we really, uh, we went into this year thinking this was going to be, a very tough year and it was tough, but there was not, by any stretch of imagination as bad as we thought it was going to be. Um, and so, so, th so this year to be able to make it through the year, I mean, that's always a good thing, but, but set things up so we can, so we can uh, come out in 2024 with better events, um, stronger relationships with our, with our, our sponsors, finding ways so uh, we can have more integrated messages, um, you know, with, with our, uh, our sponsors and, and finding ways actually that we're, we're, we're doing things that we could do to have a more integrated approach into our uh you know our marketing program so we're not just selling advertising so we we i would say we did more of that this year um you know in terms of a media organization that produces content um you know there's record traffic i mean but and we're we're just blessed with a really good editorial team um that happens to have an industry that's very interested in the stuff that 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 we're saying because really we're holding a mirror to the industry sharing what's going on um and in terms of going back to my success you know part of part of actually what i do at at ambis is i'm head of outreach um um head of Engagement and outreach, which basically means I talk to a lot of mortgage professionals and share any big stories that I see uh, with the editorial team. So it kind of help helps that. But so that's that's the ambis side. Um, you know, overall attendance as as has been up uh, for pretty much all, 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 almost all of our events. Um, so that's definitely good. And we've got a, a handful of new partners. So that's Am ambis. Things are. I'd say overall going great. Got uh, some new video products coming out, but then we uh, look at on the uh, you know so my my insurance side, um, you know not not a bad year. We did uh, okay. Not not my best year in the business, but this year um, where we've been working on a plan to set up a, a handful of of um, people in the mortgage business to be able to offer insurance to their borrowers. Um, and we basically have, have that, uh, that structure set and, uh, going to be launching a, a pilot program with a, with a handful of, uh, mortgage professionals, uh, you know, in, in the first quarter of, uh, 2024. So that is, uh, pretty exciting. And then, uh, so that's the business side, the, uh, and the, on the personal side for, for me, um, I spent more time with my family. 
I spent more time with my girls this year. I was more intentional about the time. Um, I, I, I think, uh, personally, and, uh, um, I, I have become more of a responsible person. Um, meaning that I am, I'm able to respond to the the tasks that that are that are that are at hand, um, and doing it in a more organized way. Um, and part of it, uh, like this this year, um, I I I did a couple of uh, you know, things that I did to personally increase my productivity. Um, from just uh, you know, I I made a a, a commitment to. Uh, read every day, to meditate every day, do uh, exercise every day, um, and just uh, consistently, without missing missing a beat, um, just be true to myself. Um, remember what my goals are for for the year. Remember what my values are. Make sure actually all the things that I'm doing are in line with that. Um, and this has been just a a, a lot more strategic year. So. I th I think if I if I compare 2022 to 2023, um, 2022 was a was a good year. Um, 2022 um, financially was a phenomenal year, um, but 2022 was was wasn't a year where my success was as calculated as 2023, where I I was more intentional with with my actions um, and able to meet the commitments I made to myself. So where, have, where, where, where have you failed or not, not, not perform where I wanted to. Sure. You know, listen. I'm uh, there. There's. I'm. 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 I'm looking at right now a, a list of of twenty three tasks that I was just sitting on here oh. on, on my desktop, um, and these are twenty three tasks um, that. Hold on for a second. Looking at this. So yeah. So out of these twenty three tasks, um, ten of them are tasks that have been dragging all year, or not all year, but like for 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 a good long time. Those are, those are failures. That's that to me is, you know, um, and, and I, and that's, that's something, um, you know, that, that I, I, I definitely need to, to, to address. I, I can't, I can't actually keep looking at tasks that, um, are just getting forwarded to the next day. Um, the bright side is 2023, the tasks just didn't necessarily get addressed. I'm now actually forcing myself every day to look in the mirror and say, okay, listen, what did you do? What did you, what didn't you do? I don't, uh, you know, I definitely try to as much as possible, not rely on my memory to, uh, to remember tasks and things to do. I just, you know, I don't think we we have really good storage systems, um, for tasks and, 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 you know, Maybe information, but for tasks on specific dates and specific parties, not so much. So 2023, I used a lot more systems to make sure that 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 I I I, I missed things less. New Year's Eve 2024. Someone's listening to this. It's New Year's Eve 2023. Who are you then? Hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm the same person. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just a. I am just a little bit better. You know, I, I don't need to get a lot better. Like, I'm, I'm not like. There's nothing. There's not. There's, there's not going to be much difference. Um. You know, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll be a couple of pounds less. Um. You know, um, well, not maybe. I, I, I know I, I will be. Um, as one thing actually that that I that I 
did say for this year that I I in, intend on on being more in, intentional with my with my diet, you know, and but um But yeah, you're not going to see much difference. I mean, I'm going to we're going to sit here actually and have the same thing. I'm I'm just going to be a little bit better, and and I'm and I'm not looking for quantum leaps. I I just just got to get a little bit better. You know, if I can get a little bit better every year, that compound interest is going to have some significant power. You listen. You listen to this in in the eve of twenty five. And the things you expected are not, yeah, New Year's, New Year's Eve of 2024, rather, right right before 2025, uh, and you've fallen short. What's that conversation to yourself look like? So, you know, the, the, when, 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 you, when you fail to meet a goal, you know, you have to figure out, you know, is it, you know, what was it, was it achievable um, in, in the first place? Were, were there external sources, uh, external forces that prevented you from, from meeting that goal? Um, or maybe, you know, you have just this, you know, this big, hairy, audacious goal that's unobtainable. Uh, but you know something, you know, you shoot for the stars and, and hit the moon, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's maybe not, not the worst thing in the world. Um, you know, so it, it I, I'm, I'm just, I'm. So the conversation with myself in, on, on January, I'm oh, sorry, December 31st, 2024, when I'm looking at my list of things that, that I, that I don't, I, I don't hit, um, you know, it, it's, it's a matter of how important was that to me because nothing's going to be on that list that I can't do. I mean, we shouldn't be putting goals actually that are completely Im impossible. We shouldn't be putting, you know, goals that we can't control. You know, you can't, you can't say that, uh, um, you know, I want to, you know, I want to, pull in $10 million in revenue um, because you can't really pull in $10 million in revenue. That requires your, your customers to write you $10 million in checks to be able to, uh, to be able to hit that. Uh, but you can say, all right, I'm going to do the activity to lead, lead up to that. Um, so anything I, that I did that I didn't hit, it's because I chose not to. And why did I choose not to? You know, what, what did I, what did I, what did I think about at the beginning of the year that I thought that that was important, that is not important uh, now? Or wasn't important through, through that, throughout the year. I mean, and, and it's likely potentially a, Hey, it just didn't become as, as much of a priority. And, you know, we all have the same 168 hours a week and, my 168 hours, I found things that were more important, you know, catching the season finale of billions or something, you know, I felt more important than, you know, reading, you know, uh, reading 30 pages in a book. Um, that was something that, that should allow me to reflect on next year's goals, um, to say, all right, what, 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 you know, what is, what is really the things that I want versus what I think I want based on the podcasts I'm listening to, the books I'm reading, the YouTube videos I'm, I'm watching. Um, so I think that that reflection time of looking back of where, where the gap is of where you are, where you thought you would be. Um, it's a powerful thing to basically say, Hey, who am I really?